Hi everyone, this is Amber from Trucky Lab at University of Toronto. Uh, today I'm going to show you how flow cytometry works. Flow cytometry is a technique used to detect and measure physical and chemical feature of a population of cells or particles. Uh, this technique is routinely used in basic research, especially in immunology, and also it could be used in clinical practice and clinical trials. We could use this technique for cell counting, cell sorting. We could also use this to phenotype the cell and also determine their functions. Detecting microorganisms, biomarker detection, protein engineering detection, and also we could use this to diagnose health disorder, such as blood cancer. Flow cytometers are able to analyze many thousands of particles or cells per second. At the same time, there's a flow of cells has the liquid stream that carry the cells so that they can pass the single cell through the light beam for sensing. Here we could see after cells are being labeled by the fluorescent antibody, they are being interrogated by the laser from the left side. This process of collecting data from samples is called acquisition. Instruments usually have multiple lasers and fluorescent detectors. Here we are showing the forward scatter, FSC, and the side scatter, SSC, on the right. These are the fundamental process and how flow cytometer work. If you use flow cytometer as an analyzer to phenotype your cells and detect the functions or detecting different biomarker. However, the instrument usually have multiple laser and different fluorescent detectors, which containing different filters based on your fluorophore of your labeled antibody. Let's take a look. The examples here are using X20 for Tessa from BD Company. As we can see, there's different laser. The first one we're seeing over here is a blue laser. Second one is a UV laser. The third one over here is a red laser. And then the next one is a yellow green laser. And the last one we're seeing over here is violet laser. These lasers are all having different filters. The laser configuration that I just shown is a customized LSR for Tessa that we ordered from BD Company in our flow facility. You can also change your filter to different configuration based on your purpose. Here is showing the location of where you load your samples, and your samples will be processed by the machine and then interrogated by different laser as we talked about before. If this analyzer is being connected by a computer, you can see your cell being processed and showed in different channels as you acquiring the cells at the same time. Sometimes designing a multicolor panel for flow cytometer could be really challenging. Um, there is a website I'm suggesting to help you to learn more about different fluorophore that you are using for your different antibody and different cell types. This website can help you to select different antibodies from different laser or from the same laser that have different filters, which you can decide for your panels, which is going to be compatible or not. Flow cytometry is a quite complicated technique to learn. I hope this short video just show you how basic flow cytometry works. Thank you so much for watching. I hope we will have more time to talk more about flow cytometry in details in future.